All right, welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. Um, I do want to talk about this. This is like I, I had no plan to make this another dev notes video. I was done. I already talked about the dev notes last video, um, where like first I went over the entire thing, then I give like the breakdown of what it told us um, in like a month, month, month to month format. Um, so again, I'm sorry this is coming off as too much dev notes, but I did want to address this because people were saying some weird stuff um, that I saw flying around everywhere, um, and I did want to address it. So today, I like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's jump into it. Let me just break it down for you. So again, definitely from this dev notes, a lot of it was very easy to interpret. We kind of understood everything. Uh, but the segment that's been kind of, I don't even know like, how to describe it, but it's, it's been like run with in def uh, different areas in a very weird manner. I have no idea why, but um, what I want to address here is this part, all right? July 6th content improvements, okay? First thing I want to make very clear with you, they have no plans to change the gotcha. That's it, okay? The costume gotcha is something they've said right here, basically, and they've already confirmed to us by releasing two of them. They have no plans to change the price. It will be 60 bucks to get the skin potentially and the rest of the mats. That's it. That is what it is. End of the day, that's what you're gonna get, all right? What this part was trying to uh, I get to the point as, which it dodged a lot. Like here and there it was dodging, but the main point is first, when I first read it, I'm like, okay, are players asking for a rerun and they're saying no rerun? Or was it that people are mad at the rerun because they offered a rerun, right? Because apparently what happened was they released the skin, the rupee skin. The rupee skin is supposed to be, you know, priced at uh, at 60 bucks and it's supposed to be a different skin for the reason that it's a, it's a, um, limited one, like more so a, a very rare, hyped, specialty one. That's what it's supposed to be, okay? And because they offered it off to the point as we'll rerun it, players got heated. They said, how dare you? How dare you do this? And then they got mad and then they said, whoops, we won't do it again, right? But again, it's like they, they kind of at the same time dodge a lot of things. Um, the criticism that's more so being put around, and again, people say that only the English players say it, GB players don't like the price point. They do not like the price point of what it's priced at. It's still a lot of money, it is, right? Um, and again, people will always say, no, Gogo, it's the, it's the, um, bundled effects. You're getting all this stuff on top of the skin. That's where the value is coming from, which it's, it's not right. I don't care for that. I want to just buy the skin. Give me an option to just buy the skin then. Correct. I don't want the bundles. So let me buy the skin, whatever, whatever. We're not getting into that drama. Let's, let's talk with it later. But I do want to talk about this and just share this with you just so you know. First, for anyone that purchased Bunny Rupee, you probably will be getting a cutscene pretty soon. That's the entire idea. Again, every skin in the future that releases as a gotcha skin will, in fact, have a cutscene going associated with them. That's their plan, okay? So Rupee will get one at a later date, and again, you will get them for the future characters. Uh, for any character that releases with one uh, as a costume gotcha, you will get that um, associated. So similar as that, that's there, right? When we uh, when we first updated the unique level of rupee uh, skin, we were seeing a lot of feedback. Uh, most of these were uh, about the skill cutscene. So again, they're gonna give it to us later on after they've reviewed everything, correct? Also, uh, we got a lot of uh, inquiries and complaints um, asking if we were selling reruns because we only care about sales performance. To be very honest, that is not the case. God is a victory in a case, a platform, whatever, whatever. The quality of the experience and preference responses are of the utmost importance. They're they're uh, what give us the or give us content developers ample motivation to keep providing the service. In other words, the temporary explosive growth of the sales, as perceived by some commanders, are not important to us. What matters more is maintaining a great experience for all commanders in the long term. The same goes for purchase experience. A terrible purchase experience is what we and the dev team should avoid giving needless to say we are deeply sorry for inconveniencing anyone with the various issues and problems in the services we provided so far we have been doing our best to conduct maintenance and provide after still service in these areas and will act responsibly uh, to enhance your experiences these are the reasons uh, we decided to add a skill cutscene to the uni costume we hope you understand so first players were super heated that why the hell did drake get one let's give it to rupee that's what they said. They're giving it to Rupee. Simple as that. Next, I would like to answer the question about comprising uh, the limited costumes rarity. To maintain the rarity of limited costumes, a common practice is to introduce a gap between the time of initially selling the costume and the time of its rerun. I am clearly aware of this, which is why there has been no uh, rerun of limited characters and costume, uh, costumes in eight months of the game launching, correct? Nothing in this game has gotten a rerun so far. Alice is not a rerun. That is a standard banner popping up for some reason. Correct? Simple as that. So, do know that. Again, I I've seen a lot of people like reading through this and being like, oh, because uh, they just want to give it time and then we're going to get reruns of like other characters that already dropped. 
There is no precedent just yet. You have to wait. Like genuinely, it could just be that like, as they say, to maintain the rarity of them, a common practice is to introduce a gap between the initial time of selling it and at the time of rerun. I'm clearly aware of this, which is why there's been no rerun yet. And they're trying to say like, oh yes, when it's time for our rerun, we'll give it to you. But again, we just don't know, okay? Yes, this could confirm that, oh yes, 100% we're getting reruns. It could also confirm nothing. Like it's at that point where a lot of what they say um, is more so dodging around what they want to get out there. Because again, they don't want to like promise something that's not going to happen. That's going to be the worst thing for them. And again, they did initially say like, we have plans to kind of introduce Rupee again, which people were like, what the fudge? We just bought a $6 skin for what? You're going to introduce it again? Uh, so what's our, what's our entire purpose of doing it? Um, but again, what this main paragraph kind of tackles uh, is the fact that yes, we can see it. We, we can see reruns. That is there. If you were looking for a Chainsaw Man rerun, very high chance you're not going to get one. That is simply put as that, correct? That is what it is. I, I don't think they're going to do reruns of collabs like that. And if they want to, it'll be probably after a very long time. You clearly see that Nier was announced how many months ago, and we're at a point here where still Nier hasn't released. So even if Chainsaw Man is planned, you're not getting Chainsaw Man for eight more months probably, right? You got to go through half anniversary, got to go through other stuff, got to go through Christmas again. You're not getting it for a while, as simply put as that, correct? So again, yes, you may get um, Chase of Man Part 2, but probably not. P probably it wouldn't be a thing to even chase or save for or do whatever for. So that's what creates the idea of limited. That is what Nick K is running with. A lot of games push that as a limited thing, correct? There are games that just don't rerun characters. It takes a very long time or they just plain at all re uh, rerun them, right? That is the entire idea of I need this character. I need it now. I need to pick it up. I need to spend money for it. And that's the idea they're going for. Uh, hence why this paragraph and this entire part was made to tell you that, yeah, th there's, you know, our plan is different, right? From what we originally said. We, we want to keep these rare. We don't want to rerun them. Money isn't really the issue here. Uh, we don't care for the money, which again, again, I, I still argue against that. It shouldn't have been made $60 for the things. It's still stupid. And you know what it is? People still say, no, it's, it's great. As soon as people's favorite skin starts releasing and more and more and more, you see these costume gotchas, which by the way, there is one coming soon, uh, probably. Just speculation, right? But you know, I I'm telling it to you right now, there is one coming soon. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm speculating, speculating, right? Just, but if you, if you know, you know, wink, wink, right? So because of this, you'll see who it is and you'll be, you'll be miserable. I'm telling you right now, at least uh, Drake was, Drake was big. Drake is a big, a big character, but the next character is a big for a lot of people. And they're going to be crying as soon as they see um, that it is a skin gotcha, which again, I'm not giving any more information for, but it's a $6 skin, simple as that. Um, and again, they are going back and revisiting what Rupee is, and they're going to make sure that she is looking pretty nice with her new skill cuts and everything like that. But it is also worth it that, yes, they are going to like it, like kind of increase the value of the $60 purchase they're making. We have replaced the components in the future co uh, costume gotchas with more charming elements. We put forth our best efforts in creating these enhancements, and we hope that you will eagerly, uh, eagerly anticipate them, right? So let's say like it's like three, four multis in there, and then you get like the core for the um, equipment, like leveling up material, and then you get like other other very solid like 24 hour mats for like eight of them like like let's say you stack it out let's say you stack it out and it's worth sixty dollars all right then for whales they cannot at least get suffered uh in the way of oh i you know why am i purchasing this i'm not going down miserable for a skin just like that maybe i get some other value in there and then it's worth it i uh, still though for a free to play who just looked at a 20 dollar price point and then seeing 60 they're they're kind of achieving a new level of purchasing that right it's it's three times the price again if they make it worth it it's still incorrect because it's like i just want the skin 20 bucks i just want the skin um so at the end of the day there's no real way to win this i know people say otherwise but again people just want the skin they don't want the additional uh, materials let's just buy the skin for 20 bucks and then the rest you know let it be whatever right uh but again it's like cash up 15 bucks you're getting a blanked out skin over here it's rupee plus all that stuff i understand the point you're putting uh, across but again 20 bucks is where i draw the line i'm like all right 20 bucks i get a multi i get this 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 okay oh well, that's okay for me but 60 is still high up there so again at the end of the day that's what they addressed here um they won't change the price they'll make it a little bit more lucrative they will be you know in the future not hyping up a rerun like that um but they will make sure that it, it stays rare your entire characters or whatever over here they'll they'll try to do reruns they want to but they just don't know when they want to make sure enough time has elapsed before like giving you a rerun because you know you summoned for a limited character and you should enjoy the limited character um, so that's a, a rarity point set in the game so that everyone knows if I want this character, I either pull it now or I wait 365 days. That is the point they're trying to get across here. Not that it confirms anything, right? Not that it confirms anything to any capacity, but maybe, yes, reruns are supposed to be, you know, for limited characters. There is no such thing as Modernia is in here or anything like that. I still think that reruns like that are going to be harder for them to do and it's something they will kind of lean back on. But again, 
but their new skin has to release. So I wonder if they're gonna give people a chance to obtain that. It would be the proper timing, but who knows, correct? So again, that's what I wanted to address here. Uh, this was taken in many different ways and many wrong ways. So I wanted to make a video quickly on it because uh, I get discords, reddits, uh, anywhere in my comment section have been pushing a little bit uh, incorrect points, but um, just wanted to share that with you. So pretty simple, but yeah.